Monday, everyone, and we are officially four days away from heading to Scotland. I leave on Friday and I'm very, very excited. Um, so today, well, not today, but like literally this week is going to be crazy busy. I have a million and five things to do. But on today's list, um, mom and I are driving up to Toronto because I was just with them for the weekend. It's Father's Day weekend. Um, but I have an event with Killian Paris tomorrow, which is a fragrance brand. And the dress code is don't be shy. So we are going to a couple little boutiques in Toronto to see if I can find a dress for the event tomorrow. I also have an appointment tonight. It is a PR appointment to get my hair done at a new salon in Toronto. So that's on the list for today. I also have to start organizing outfits and everything for my trip. There is just so much going on. I, it, it's a lot, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm very excited. I feel like this is the first trip of the year. I'm very excited. I got another Will oversized shirt from Reformation. I'm actually supposed to have not worn this until my trip, but I couldn't, I couldn't compose myself. It's so good. So I got it in the striped version. I love it so much. Um, yeah, that's what I'm wearing today. I also am trying these little chimes, ginger chews. I'm keeping them in my bag because you guys know I get car sick. So I'm gonna try these. And these are actually the orange flavored. I tried them two days ago when I got them. Not, I wasn't car sick when I tried them. I just tried, wanted to see how they tasted like. And I really like the orange flavor in them. They're quite good. So anyways, that's a little chatty update, but we're gonna drive up to Toronto and do a little bit of shopping together and see if I can find an outfit tired it's gonna be a long day and nothing like a crispy cold mm, red bull i swear if they made these without caffeine i would drink one every single day they're just so good mm. mm -hmm. are we ready i think i need to do a pit stop a pee stop a pit stop. oh <laughs> well for a pee <laughs> a pee pit stop Mom went to go pee so I can chat with you for a little bit. So essentially, I haven't told you. Have I told you why we're going to Scotland? I'm not sure. But essentially, Jack is playing a tournament at St. Andrews, which is like one of the oldest golf courses in the world. Um, and it's kind of, A, really expensive and really hard to even just be able to play on the course just on a regular day. So the fact that he gets to play a tournament there is super, super exciting. Um, so he's looking forward to that. And it's funny because... If you don't know how golf works, typically there's like multiple days. So it's like say four days of an event. And then after you play three rounds, if you don't play well enough, that means you don't make the cut and you don't play on the final day, which is like when you like, you win the trophy, you win money, blah, 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 blah. But um, there's a joke. So, so Jack is playing, I think three days. And then he, if he makes the cut, he plays on the fourth day. And Jack's dad is going to be his caddy. And they're always joking around that if Jack doesn't make the cut, then on the final day, there's like a secondary group that they're not playing like the final day, but they do still get to play on a different course. So if Jack doesn't make the cut, then I'm going to be his caddy on that final day, which that means I get to wear the little like bib and carry his golf clubs. It's going to be... Um, very fun so they're, they're teasing me being like Sam is gonna be rooting harder than ever because if Jack doesn't make the cut then I have to be the caddy so yeah I'm really excited so we're gonna be in St. Andrews obviously while he's playing the tournament and then after that Jack and I are gonna go explore Edinburgh which I'm so excited for we kind of debated back and forth between you know going to Glasgow or Edinburgh so Jack's dad's side of the family is from Scotland and they were all like oh you got to go to like Glasgow because it's more lively it's a big city but Jack and I decided that because like we've done the big city we love the big city like Toronto is a big city we we know the party scene we we do that all the time we thought it would be a little bit different to you know go to the old town and have that change of scenery that like slower pace and kind of explore that but we are gonna have one night in Glasgow so that was kind of the decision we came to um, and of course being like the history nerd that I am I am very excited for Glasgow I'm also trying to get Jack into Outlander but Outlander is the type of show that like you have to kind of watch several episodes and really get into the characters and the storyline it's not one of those shows that is like you know you're hooked on the first episode Outlander is not like that I remember the first time I watched Outlander like it was I think I've probably watched the first episode like three or four times and before I actually like kept going on to the second, third, fourth, fifth episode because I just didn't think that the first episode was all that great. Um, 
So I'm trying to get him into it, but recently we've been watching Ted Lasso. And if you've never watched Ted Lasso, you should. But but anyways, um, we're on the road again. So I will chat to you when we get to the city. Oh my God, we've arrived in Toronto. We're just in Yorkville and I'm going to pee my pants. We are people trying to figure out the like parking meter and I will pee my pants very soon. OMG. Okay, the stop is done. I am feeling so relieved. My bladder is feeling relieved. But we are in this little kind of mall in Yorkdale. Sorry, not Yorkdale. Yorkville. And we're gonna go into TNT, which is like a little premium luxury boutique. They have a ton of different brands. And um, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I never have a whole lot of luck in here, but it's kind of the only place we have to shop here. Cute stuff in here. Shape. So I need to pick up some pods for my house. Because I already ran out of the Bianco Piccolo pods that I like from Nespresso. So I'm gonna pick up a few more of those. We've had quite a successful shopping day. I can't wait to get home and show you everything. But we're gonna quickly stop at Trattoria, have a bit of a bite to eat. I was actually planning to initially go home and then um, go to my appointment, but I don't think I'm gonna have time to stop at home before the hair appointment. So we're just gonna go to Trattoria, have a quick bite to eat. They're usually really quick in here too. So um, what we're gonna do, so hungry. Oh. We got some apples and then my appointment is at 4.15. It's 3.30 but thankfully it's only like five minutes down the road so we're set. Okay so we got some burrata with tomatoes. These are my favorite like heirloom tomatoes. And we got the um, famous cavolo nero salad but we added some fish to it. Just have some protein in there. Leaving Trattoria. Had a good meal. Um, but now walking to the hair salon. Mom didn't walk with me. She's so rude. She had to go back to the parking garage. Anyways, let's go have a full tummy and a full bladder. So I'm definitely gonna have to go pee once I get to the salon, but yeah. We've arrived. I just quickly popped into the bathroom before we get going. I feel like a little chipmunk like popping up. <laughs> Appointment comes at a perfect time because my hair is quite, quite dirty, but figure out what products we use in our hair. The whole concept tonight was that it was a total surprise. We were gonna go in blind, try out the products, 
see how they felt in our hair and then at the very end now we get to see what the products were so i have to say my hair feels so soft so healthy and like there are no flyaways obviously she did a blow up but it feels phenomenal so let's go find out what we use my guess is either l'oreal or Kerastase. <laughs> i was guessing the whole time but let's go find out wondering what is in your hair, what have they been using. My name is Janet Jackson and I am the L'Oreal Paris hair expert and I'm here to introduce L'Oreal Paris hair expertise, latest bonding technology, bond repair, our deepest repair to rebuild the hair from the inside. So this technology that you've all experienced, we've been testing it for eight years, We've tested it on over 1,200 women. Um, bond repair is for the first time we've patented formulas that penetrate deep inside the hair cortex to rebuild inner broken bonds. Now, you keep hearing the word bond. It's been a huge word that you're hearing all over the internet, your social media. This was the range. We've got the pre-shampoo, the shampoo, We're all done and it was in fact L'Oreal so I was right which I'm not surprised by because I used to love the L'Oreal Ever Pure range that's the one I used to use if you guys watch my channel when I started that's what I used to use it was my tried and true at the time I had really really blonde hair with my balayage not anymore but this range ladies if you're looking for that more affordable price range this is it it is phenomenal so I'll have to chat you through the whole range when I get home um, but it's perfect for that like in between salons um, maintenance so it's really cool but I'm just heading home I have to pick up some groceries on the way home because I haven't been home all weekend good morning everyone I'm just grabbing my coffee I was giving it a bit of a warm-up because as usual I lottie dawdle with my coffees today is a very 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 busy day I still did not manage to find a dress, although I did manage to find a few other things. Okay, let me close those doors. <laughs> so as I was saying, today we have a super, super busy day. Sorry, I'm still putting on some of my jewelry for the day. I'm gonna go with my chain link. So today, essentially, I still have to go out and find a dress for tonight's event. I don't have anything to wear. I'm a bit stressed. So I'm gonna go to a consignment store. Now, although yesterday I did manage to find a few bits for my Scotland trip, I found nothing for the event tonight. I sometimes I find it so hard to find dresses here in Canada that aren't like super, super trendy or like for a wedding, if you know what I mean. Um, anyways, I wanna show you my new watch from Nord Green. This is the Unica style, you guys know. But with Nord Green, you can like buy the watch and then just like interchange the straps. Uh, which is kind of like a modular concept. I think it's brilliant. Uh, it saves you some money too. But I got this new like chain strap. It kind of makes it look like a bracelet and I absolutely love it. So that's what I'm gonna wear today. I've been wearing it every single day since I got it. I also got it in the like silver um, because I love this style so much. I always struggle to put it on though. There we go. Look at that. It's so pretty like Look at the chain on it. I love it so much. I've just been loving all these like chain details recently. I also want to show you guys this shirt. I got it on sale at Holt Renfrew and it's from Frame. I probably should have given it a proper steam, but that's okay. Um, I just it feels so silky on the body. I, I love it. But anyways, now for the fun stuff, I want to show you all of the things that I have bought for Scotland. Now I'm still shopping around a little bit for pieces. I think I need to get a raincoat. Jack dad warned me that it will rain and I need a raincoat and I'm not one to like wear raincoats all that much so I think I'm just gonna get a cheap one off of Amazon honestly I found a really cute one that was like 50 bucks 60 bucks something like that maybe not even um, I think I'm just gonna do that and have it with me in case um, I've always been more of an umbrella girl to be honest just because I feel like it actually like I don't want the ring on me whereas with a raincoat it's like literally on you anyways let me show you what I have been buying. I'm so excited. I think I'm just gonna actually bring my rack in the room in here. Because right now everything is outside. Let me show you. It's a hot mess in this apartment, but I guess like 
between work and travel, it's, uh, it's non-stop. But pretty much, I've got all these clothes here. This is just some extra clothing of mine. This is all for Scotland at the moment. We are going for two weeks. Um, but I have most of my pieces are pretty much like interchangeable so I can wear them more than one way, which is nice. So I'm gonna bring this into my bedroom and then I can show you everything. Woo, so excited. We have like a travel haul. Yeah. <laughs> Got some pieces in here that aren't new, but most of them are. So I'm gonna show you those. Um, let's start with my pride and joy. This is a new Veronica Beard little jacket. Um, it is absolutely stunning. I have to say, I am so, so impressed with the quality on this. I just, I love all the colors and these buttons. Let me bring you in close so you can see. Look at that detail on the buttons. Oh, they are just stunning. I'm really, really impressed with the quality of this jacket from Veronica Beard. I mean, I should expect nothing less from them, but I really, really love it. I do have, if you're wondering what these ones are here, you've seen them already. This is my Ritzy one and my Theory one. And I will say, when it comes to the quality, Veronica Beard is just breathtaking. Next up, we have this gorgeous, can you tell I've been into jackets? But we have this gorgeous Smythe blazer. Oh, we're good. <laughs> we have this gorgeous Smythe blazer. I kind of fell in love with this like butter yellow color. Also, again, with the buttons, these ones look more like a vintage style. Again, just all the detail is stunning. I absolutely love it. Also got the most dramatic puff sleeves. I don't know if you can tell, but they are just fantastic. And when I saw this blazer, I saw this shirt as well, and I thought that this shirt would go super, super well with this blazer as well, or jacket, not a blazer. Now, this is new, and I honestly, I feel like I made a bit of a poor choice here. This was kindly, um, gifted to me by Reformation. I did pick it up um, and it just, at the time, I thought it was gonna be perfect. Um, I love that it's silk shirt. You guys know I love that style of shirt, but ugh, I've struggled with this pattern and color situation. I keep making this mistake. I feel like these gray, cool toned taupe colors are just colors that, I don't know, I have such a hard time styling and like my poor Fendi peekaboo, but I don't know. I love it. I love this shirt. It feels amazing on the on the skin and the fit is fantastic. Um, I just, I feel like I should have gotten a more neutral color, but that is a-okay. Next up we have a little set, which is actually not a set at all, but we've got my green Reformation, Reformation, Max Mara sweater. And as I told you guys, I was looking for a matching skirt, which I was never able to get my hands on, but did find some matching trousers and these are phenomenal so I actually found these at Judith and Charles and these are the Billy pant they do come in black as well I have to say these are the most perfect like slim fit um, I would say these are like a medium rise um, trousers the fabric is phenomenal there is quite a bit of stretch in there which for trousers is amazing so you want to be able to sit comfortably especially when it's like a slim fit trouser um, it's got a beautiful kind of um, sewn in pleat in the front, which I think is fantastic. And I went with a size two in these. I also have to say, for the quality of these, the price is pretty, pretty good. So yeah, there you go. Judith and Charles, check them out. I really love them. I was telling Jack, I was like, oh, look, I really love Judith and Charles. And they have like trousers and shirts and blazers and like really simple sweaters. And like, Jack's like, wow, like, jackets and shirts and blazers that doesn't sound like you at all <laughs> anyways um next up we have oh my god you guys hugo boss i have three pieces from hugo boss and i'm genuinely curious as to why no one's talking about hugo boss mom and i went into the hugo boss store in yorkdale mall and they had so many wonderful classy pieces um, that were amazing quality and the price on these items were fantastic I mean, they also had quite a big sale going on so we got some good deals with these but First up we have this super cute sweater. I don't think it's cashmere, but It does feel super super soft and I just love kind of these like white details on it And then it does have the boss little logo on there just really really classy and simple now we have what may be potentially my airport outfit. We have this beautiful like oops, oversized shirt. It's got some beautiful detailings on the cuff. 
and then all the buttons kind of have these like little hardware on them and again you can just see like the structure of the shirt it's phenomenal to go with that i got the matching trousers these are the trousers i think they're fantastic oh they're just so so stunning i also i just really really love the little boss detail on there i think it's so cute um yeah i think they did a really great job anyways check out hugo boss if you are kind of like in a rut with brands to shop at i was really really impressed with all their stuff now we have a little two-piece that I got on Farfetch. It was actually like, I think $120 on sale, but it's a new brand. I've never heard of them. The brand is called Issue, I-Z-Z-U-E, pronounced Issue. Um, and it's this super cute little set. So it came with this sweater, this pink sweater. It's got a super cute little like tag here. I love the tag detailing. And then it came with this little dress which is like a pleated kind of cotton material. Well, the top is cotton. I don't know what the bottom is, but super, super high quality insert. And you can either wear it together to kind of give this like oversized sweater, midi skirt look, or honestly, I was playing around with this last night and just this with like little jackets over top. Let me show you. You could do like, you could do something really simple like this and it looks so so pretty i think it's such a great layering piece honestly i feel like it was a bit of a two for one deal so i think issue is going to be a brand i'm going to be keeping my eye on because i actually really like their stuff they're kind of very cool so anyways next up we have oh one of my favorite 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 brands alame i got this one at the little boutique yesterday um tnt in yorkville and oh like look at these gorgeous puff sleeves it's got a little thin belt it's got like beautiful covered buttons and then these kind of super cool pockets so it looks very much like a dramatic shirt up top and then you've got your classic midi length i just i love alame i find that their linens and cottons are such high quality like i don't know i just i love their brand i love how it fits on me too i am actually very sad to report and i hope that this is not the case for all their items but for the first time i tried on one two three four four or five zimmerman pieces and i think they're not made for people my size like five foot three like it definitely at least with one two three of the dresses that i tried on for zimmerman it definitely felt like i needed like a longer torso like i had a lot of room between like the top of the dress and my shoulders so I, I was a little bit sad about that because I love Zimmerman. I think their designs are so beautiful, but it, I very much felt like I needed to be like six feet tall to wear a lot of the dresses from Zimmerman that I was trying on. Um, again, heartbreaking because I, ever since I can remember, I've been like wishing to be able to afford Zimmerman and to be able to wear Zimmerman. Um, but you know what? That's life. And I think um, Alame has become my Zimmerman because it fits me so beautifully and I just, I love it. I'm obsessed. I will spend all my money on Alame. And um, Jack is always excited to hear when I buy something from Alame because he loves their stuff as well. Another little dress, which I, again, it was on sale, so I bought it, but I think it's very me. I don't know. Do you guys let me know what you think of this one? Um, but this is, I've never heard this brand, but this is Manning Cartel. It's from Australia. Um, but it's just a very simple midi shirt dress and it does come with a little belt as well. I just honestly, I loved all the fun colors in here. I love colorful dresses a lot of the time because it means that if it's got five colors, that means you have five choices of accessories that you can wear. So I can wear red accessories, pink, black, blue, green yellow, teal, <laughs> brown. Um, that is a fun little trick that I use um, when wearing for like really patterned items. Find a color in the dress, pick it out, um, and then find accessories in that color. So a lot of people think that like patterned items are really hard to wear. And honestly, I find that they are the easiest to wear because you have so many options. Um, but then of course, that means that your accessories should be very simple. So, you know, don't go with a super like 
patterned bag keep it simple keep it a solid color same with the shoes keep them solid colors or very minimalistic that's just a little trick from me to you guys if you do like wearing patterned items then we've got this gorgeous reformation dress now i don't think this one is going to come to scotland with me just because it is very very summery but i think it's such a staple for summer it's just this beautiful like v-neck strappy full length dress cotton material it is lime so it's not see-through it's just so flowy i think this like going to the beach or walking around the pool or oh i just yeah it's gonna be a staple for me in the city i love it so so much now we've got a couple pieces from Paige, and i actually wore these the other night um to go out for dinner with jack and i absolutely love it so first up let me put this one down so we have this super cute tank but it's got like a little tie here in the middle with some little kind of pearl stone details. I think it's so cute because it makes a really simple tank kind of a little bit more interesting. Then we have a beautiful kind of matching baby blue blazer. I've been really enjoying this color on myself. I'm not sure why. I just feel like it makes me feel really pretty. So when I picked these two pieces out, because these were kindly sent to me um, from Paige, I immediately envisioned these two together with like white flowy pants, like these Karen Millen ones. I just, I loved the look of it. And I will say the blazer has a beautiful quality to it as well. Um, but I had to steam it and I think I needed more than steam. Like it definitely needs a good iron to get rid of all the wrinkles. So that's just, you know, a little forewarning. Then we have another little reformation bit. This sweater is absolutely beautiful. It's just a classic knit and then it's got a little kind of girl there with the Malibu. Um, I just thought this is such a great little sweater to just drape over your shoulders. Um, it's really, really comfy. And if you need to, you know, put it on top of a shirt, it looks really, really lovely. I just, I love it. It's so cozy and yeah. Something I've noticed about reformation is that they have been doing really, really, really great knitwear. Um, so I think the two things that they do really well, three, I guess, linens, their linens are beautiful, their knitwear, especially their cashmere, their recycled cashmere, and their denim. I've been really impressed with their denim recently. Um, okay, you've already seen those. Now I've got some really exciting pieces from Max Mara. Let me unzip these. So the lady at the Max Mara Boutique was so kind to kind of place this perfectly, but this is um, two pieces from the new Max Mara Weekend Collection, and oh my god, I love it. So this is a beautiful patterned sweater. It's got black and green on it. Like, look at that pattern. I think it's stunning. And then, I know this is so me, <laughs> a little bit predictable here, but I saw this um, midi skirt with like green and black stripes on it. Honestly, I feel like... I typically wouldn't pair kind of two patterned items together, but I feel like they kind of contradict each other in the most perfect way. Um, and this sweater, again, so easy to wear in my mind. Like I can wear it with beige trousers, I can wear it with black trousers, which I have plenty of, or I can even, you know, do something like that. And it looks amazing. Same with the skirt, because there's black, green, and beige in it. I can kind of pair it with um, you know, a white shirt or even my green Max Mara. I think that's so cute. Honestly, I think this may be one of my favorite outfits and I can't wait to show you what it looks like on because it just, as soon as I put it on, like, again, like I think I've told you guys this, but pretty much like when I go shopping and I try stuff on, I need to have that like, like, wow, like my, my face needs to change, my posture needs to change, and when I feel that like, oh, I feel good moment, I know that that's an outfit that is me, and that's when I have to let go of those thoughts of, you know, this isn't what I typically wear, or that's this isn't what I was going for, because sometimes feeling good in an outfit is more important than those kind of expectations you had going into it. So anyways, I'm rambling, but Max Mara Weekend, check them out. They have a really, really cute collection this season. I've been loving all the greens. I think they're just stunning. All right, so I just wanna put this back. I think I built up a bit of a sweat talking to you guys there. It's quite hot in my apartment, even though I have the um, AC on. What happens is, so my bedroom and my dressing room are kind of like facing each other and they share the same AC unit, but for some reason the AC unit in my bedroom blasts, but in here in my dressing room, it doesn't. So I always get so hot in here. 
Um, anyways, I shouldn't be complaining because the weather is beautiful and I'm glad we have beautiful weather. <laughs> but anyways, oh, I don't know what, I don't even have my phone on me, but um, my mom should be coming soon and then we're gonna head out to do some shopping. I also do need to do a little bit of work before I leave. I'm getting stressed out about tonight because I don't know what to wear. Anyways, I'm really excited for Scotland and I'm really excited about all these pieces. They feel like so true to me. And yeah, I, I do feel a little bit kind of like, I don't know what to expect in terms of the weather because I think Jack's dad was telling me that it rains like three hundred days out of the year um there and I'm just I'm not like my poor hair does not handle water or humidity very well. It just like poofs up. So I'm gonna bring lots of hair ties in case I have to, you know, do a slicked back bun trip, which it might might happen. But anyways, I'm gonna finish my coffee and while I do, I need a minute to like decom not decompose, oh my god. Decompress. Oh my god. Can't okay, then grab my phone and I'll be right back. Right, in the meantime, while my mom um, answers, I just asked my mom what time she is getting here at because I do want to get going on that. But anyways, um, oh my God, Jack and I have been watching a show, a new show called Ted Lasso and it's so good. So if you've never heard of it, um, it's essentially about a Premier League soccer team and a American coach who comes to the UK and starts coaching this team. And I, Jack was telling me, oh, one second. Hello. Can I take the phone? Hi. Everything is in the car. I'm okay. almost done. I'm gonna take this one for WLK. So I think I will be leaving here around 10 after 12. Mm -hmm. Um. So I'm guessing that I'll be getting there 1.30, 1.40 at the latest if okay. there's no traffic. Okay. What are your plans afterwards? Um, when you get here, I think we should go straight to that consignment store. Like, I need to find a dress. Sorry, as I was telling you, so Jack essentially kept recommending me the show, and he's like, Sam, like, we have to watch it together, we have to watch it together, and I was like, mm, it's not my show. Like, I'm just I'm not a fan of those, like, macho, toxic masculinity, sexist sports jokes. I'm, I don't love those shows. And honestly, that's what I thought the show was going to be like, and it's so not that. I am hooked. We are on the third season now and we started it like a week ago and i just i love it i think it's it's very modern i think i love the things that it kind of touches on in the show it's very it's got that like witty dry sense of humor but it's also got those like nice like warm fuzzy moments which i love so anyways if you're looking for a new show ted lasso is really really wonderful and it's one that's nice to watch with your partners because it, you know it's got the sports in it and, and all that stuff which is nice so anyways ted lasso is a great show to watch if you are looking for something new anyways i am done procrastinating i can't keep talking to you guys because i have to get stuff done but i have to go tidy up my living room i have to put this back um, I have to do some emails and stuff and get organized before my mom gets here. I also have a bunch of clothes on my couch that needs to be put away. It's all clean clothes, but it all needs to be put away. I'm just trying to keep my cool this week because, yeah, it's a lot. Anyways, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Hello everyone, we are just walking to a little consignment store in Summerhill and I've got the sweatiest pits because I've switched to <laughs> natural deodorant. Oh, yikes, it smells great, but I'm like really sweaty. Um, anyways. We're, I think, a block away, and the store we're going to is 1132 Consignment. I've given up on, like, finding new stuff, so we're gonna go to see if there's any pre-loved items for tonight. It is a beautiful day, but it's very hot outside. I am home, and I just finished up my makeup. I have to show you, I've been using the Say Glowy Super Gel. Um, where is it? In the shade Star Glow. You guys know I typically use the like bronzy one all over my face, but I've been using this as a highlighter and it gives the most like natural glow to the cheeks and the nose as well. Always the nose. Um, but I got the mini one. I think Caudalie sent me the mini one um, as like a summer kit with my favorite, what's it called? Um, setting mist. So. Anyways, what I wanted to show you was what I got at the consignment store. I got two pieces. Let me start with the one that is not for tonight. But I found this gorgeous Burberry little jacket. Look at it. It's so cute. It was in my size. It was $400, um, which is feels like a steal for Burberry. I think this is like last season was like at least $1,000. Like 
at the very least and I just thought this was gonna be perfect for Scotland if there are any chilly days that we're gonna be walking you know around the golf course or anything like that I thought it's gonna be perfect um, I just I love it let me see if I can show you the inside it's just got the classic kind of Burberry on the interior and I love it I think it's just so simple and so classy and then the masterpiece is this gorgeous Kiki Vargas dress. Look at it. I cannot wait to show you guys um, how it looks on, but uh, mom didn't realize, like, I thought she knew Kiki Vargas, but Kiki Vargas is actually a Colombian um, designer, which is super, super cool. Um, she's from Colombia. So, that's what I'm gonna wear. Oh, isn't it beautiful? And it's also never been worn. Like, it still has the tag on. Oh my God, I got crying eyes. But um, super cool. We're just trying to decide what shoes. There's two options, so I don't mind my slippers. I've got either my, I'm gonna pick them up so I can show you, but I've got, all right, I've got two options. I can either do my Valentinos with the little gold studs on them or my Louboutins. These are just super classy and minimal, but I think they would look really pretty. Anyways, I still have to do my hair and film a little bit before I go, but I can't wait to show you what the dress looks like on. It is chest kiss. <laughs> All right, I'm just um, doing some final touches and I am using my Caudalie um, Replenishing Vegan Body Butter. This is like, oh my God, this has been my lifesaver. Not only has it helped my eczema like all around my body, um, but it's really great for events because it makes your legs super, super shiny. It's phenomenal. They also have the other one, which is the toning lotion for my really dry skin because I have eczema. I actually prefer this one. It is thicker. It's like more of like a cream, like a thick body butter, whereas the other one is a little bit lighter, so it does feel lighter on the skin, but it still gives you that really, really nice glow. Um, so if you're looking for a nice summer lotion that is great for hydrating your skin and giving you that nice glow, totally is where it's at. And even though it's scented, it doesn't um, aggravate my eczema, like it's still really, really great. Um, I just feel like it's hydrating rather than like sitting on top of my skin or just getting soaked up like immediately. Here is the dress and definitely feeling not shy in this dress. I absolutely love it. Oh, I think it's phenomenal. And I've just paired it with some very, very simple Louboutins and my Lady Dior. And then of course I kept the hair super, super simple as well. Yeah. Mm. I love it. All right, let's go.